Hey up viewer, welcome to Wheatley TV here at the very appropriately named Cricket Field Lane as Wheatley take on Retford. Well Wheatley will be batting first today as we have a look at the teams and something's got to give here today viewer because Wheatley haven't lost the season batting first and Retford haven't lost batting second so that will change today. Nathan Singleton opening the bowling here for Retford against Bushy and it's a bit of a jumpy shot. It's, uh, Bushy and Wheatley off the mark. To my immediate left viewer is the man once described as the Neville Cardus for the TikTok generation, Jimmy Nixon. How you doing mate? I'm very well Pax, beautiful Saturday morning, looking forward to uh a good bit of cricket. We've got two strong teams out this weekend, mate. We certainly have, mate. Yes. Um, what do you think of this move then? Topper's at the top of the order trying to smash himself back into a bit of form, probably. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Well, I'm, uh, I'm all for it, I think. He's uh, he's decided to do something about his, uh, his form and uh, good for him. He wants to be contributing. Why not, mate? Why not? Oof. And that's hurt him. It's taken um, the Wheatley boys quite a long time to sort out medical assistance for toppers here and it's got taken so long that I think he's fine now. Uh, dogs uh, come out with all sorts of things uh, on the boundary and he's stopped there. And that's really good from toppers, first ball after that uh, biff. Opening the batting isn't all it's cut out to be, viewer. Oh, that's in the air, and it's brilliantly taken at mid-off, and Bushy goes. Look well, it was the last ball of the over, here's Brandon Mapp, on from the other end, and top is a centre-back, or oh, is Tom centre-back, I don't know. Nice punch by Toppers, off the back foot. And that's going out for four, I think. It's another nice shot from Toppers through the covers. It's time it's going to be fielded. And they set up for one. <laughs> it's a lovely shot by Thomas. We can feel a few drops of rain. It's been an alien experience recently. Oh my gosh, that's cut toppers in half and that's gone down. There's a big glove on it, so I'm not sure will it go all the way. I think it has done. No. Oh, that's a delightful shot by toppers. That's another boundary. Cut away. And that's another boundary. It's a super stuff. Oh, that's a super shot from Tom on the up for four. Oh, that's good bowling. Oh, that's edged. And I think it's just dropped short. What's happened? I think it's going to be not out of this. Thrashed by Tom for four. He looks good playing those shots. Oh, Toppers goes for a big swipe and he's bowled. Tongy in at four. And those will be buys, four of them. Oh, that's edge through the slips and oh, that's well fielded down there. It'll be one. They were, th they were all throwing the wickets over. That's flicked down by Tommy. It's going to run away. Oh, oh it's only just gone for four. How are you doing? It's uh, Jimmy here. I have a very special guest. We have one of our ex chairmans or president, no, chairman, sorry. 19 <laughs> years, Gordon. I think it was about that, nice James. And yeah. you've, you've moved to where now? I live in Geisley now, North West Leeds. In the North West Leeds. And uh, what, how's the Yorkshire League compared to ours? 
Um, be honest. I think the local, <laughs> I mean, the Yorkshire League is very, very good, and the Bradford League is, is very, very good. But yeah. The local teams tend to play in the Airedale and Wharfdale League, which, yeah. which I think the top league is probably similar. But be, but be honest, you still watch weekly TV every week, don't you? I do. Oh, yeah. Of course you do. Of course you do. That's what we like to hear. I do. In fact, I, I re- really, I could do it this Saturday night rather than. <laughs> <Saturday night. laughs> I'll speak to, Unbelievable. I'll speak to the Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know what he's doing. With <laughs> the score after ten overs. First change of bowling for Ratford. Bit of off spin coming on. How it should be view up. Tom cuts late and cuts really nicely. And it's gone for four. Keeper's uh, giving chase on that one. And what's happened? (laughs) That's incredible commitment there. Live reactions here to the news that Steve Smith's out in uh, the Ashes match viewer. Everyone except um, the overseas player for either side today is happy about that. I might have said to Bushy earlier that him getting out early could be a good omen for us for the Ashes, so I'm not that grumpy. He took it well. <laughs> Those leg buys bought up the 50 for Wheatley. 51 for two. 52 for two. And we're in the 13th over. Oh no, Tommy's gone. Hit it straight to mid wicket. Well, Retford will be delighted with this start. They've uh, chipped out three big wickets, and in comes Cal Harrison. I've stopped calling Cal the Jolly Shepherd recently because, well, he's not a shepherd anymore. But the Jolly Agricultural Contractor doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Cal cuts that away. First ball, fielding mistake means he gets off the mark immediately. And they'll get two. That's good stuff. The change of bowling here. Oh, Tom goes up and over. That's one bounce four. Cal, that's gone all the way out for four. Oh, Tom pops it over mid off. And it's gone for four. Slightly awkward looking pull shot, but the result is exactly what he wanted. Four runs. Tom pulls away again, much more convincingly this time. Exactly the same result. That's the third four in this over. Just watch those pull shots back on camera viewer. That first one was a perfectly decent pull shot. Well done, Tom. <laughs> Is it me just hearing strimmer noises in my head after uh, last week, or can anyone else hear that? He's behind the edge this time, so I can't give him the stairs. Cut away from Cal. That is a delightful stroke. That's four more. After Ben Tomlinson's seam up, went for 20 runs in two overs, mostly thanks to Tom. Um, we're going for a spin at both ends here at Redford. Oh, that has been pulled away by Cal, and I'm afraid that was a bit of a freebie. Slip's been taken out and is bolstering the uh, leg side field. Score after 20 overs, Wheatley trotting along here. That's a really lovely little dink from Cal. Not going to be four, and yeah, Cal sends Tom back. Wow, that is a delightful strike. Four runs. <laughs> I think someone saw the man at 45 there. <laughs> it was a good shot though. Straight back at him and that's brilliantly taken. Mm. 
98 for four now in the 23rd over and this match hanging tantalizingly in the balance Eddie's in against his old club here should know this ground very well oh dear and another fielding error first ball I turned off because I thought it was uh, <laughs> it was fielded but no Eddie gets off the mark that'll be annoying for Redford oh, for good land. Oh, Cal shot, goes for Cal! his favourite sweep shot, which he plays very well. That's four runs. There's no uh... Run! There's no, there's no, there's no real... Uh... That's good running from these two. Yeah. Oh, Eddie! Eddie! Uh, Run, Eddie! Oh, my goodness! Um, there's so... Shot! Shot! Callum! Good run! Well, well, well run! Well run! It's <laughs> only one. Good! Good, Eddie! Yeah. Oh, that was just. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, big sweep across the line from Cal, and he's gone. That's a shame, Cal's looking really good there. Next man in, the implacable John O'Ellis. <laughs> Worked onto the onside by Jono. He's going to push him, and that's really good running. That's Jono off the mark. Buckling cut shot by Jono out to the cover sweeper for one. Oh, Eddie sent that over. One bounce, and that's four. It's down really well, and that's two. Cut away by John A. And that's two. 20 overs to go here. Wheatley, 133 for five. Oh, and it's just about taken at mid on. Jono just about dragging himself off the field here. Toby in. Oh my gosh, that's gone miles. Um, what's that? That's four in the oh, end, actually. <laughs> Retford have issued spin, and they're back with Brandon Mapp now. That's clipped away by Eddie for a single. Shot by Toby, it's well stopped. Cut away nicely, Eddie. That'll only be one. Oh, no, it's not. It's four. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be four. Hit it. Oh, That's an intriguing little delicate shot from Eddie. Oh, Ed's son, Ed. <laughs> I'll just have to overdub it. Oh, it's dispatched by Toby. Boundary brings up the 150 for Wheatley. We're 153 for six. Oh, that spoon in the air and taken. Sorry for the camera work. <laughs> Mad dog, the new man in. Oh, big appeal, first ball. They're running, no one's running after this ball at all, so they could fill the boots here. 
Mad Dog's going to settle for two in the end. And that's an inside edge on that one. Well, for the first time in this game, which has been hanging in the balance since ball one, you'd have to say advantage Retford. And it's the first time anyone's taken the game by the scruff of the neck. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Eddie. Little paddle. It's gone very fine. It's fielded down there. And it's two. Oh, wow. Dog unfurls an unbelievable on drive for four. Oh, Run hard. Some uh, slightly ginger fielding there. And it's run all the way down to those covers out there. And uh, they've come back for three. <laughs> oh dear. Looks uh, very thankful for that. That's four. That's slash to slash well. That's four. Oh dear. Uh, gone to him on the bounce. I thought that was uh, comfortably out there. <laughs> Shot. Brushed off his pads by Eddie. And chased down well. Mm. <laughs> it's tricky by dog. Gone down for a single. Oh, dog's been sent back here. Uh, and he just about makes it. Oh, that is brilliantly taken at mid wicket. That's four thirty, isn't it? Four thirty. One of Wheatley's most potent batting weapons now, Henry Patterson. So eight overs to go here. Wheatley are eight down. Let's we'll see what kind of score we can cobble together here. Don't know what's a good score on this wicket because every bat who's come out said batting's been difficult. You're never actually in. Oh, and uh, Doc just displays that quite nicely. Henry straight into his work with a single out to deep cover. Henry absolutely clobbers that for four. Henry again, this time he's laced it through the covers for another four. Oh, Henry has sent that out. <laughs> it's well fielded out there. Oh, that's tickled down by Dog. That's going to be four. 200 up for Wheatley, 202 for eight. I think we'll be pretty pleased with that, bearing in mind we've been put in on quite a spicy wicket. This lightning fast outfield, though, provides superb value for your shots. Oh, Henry's bludgeoned that into the car park for four. Utter chaos being caused by Henry here. Oh, he's gone again. He's absolutely leathered it once more. That's four more. Oh, my word. That's six. Down the throat or mid off, and Henry goes. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Cal Rutherford, last man in for Wheatley, with 216 for nine, and there's three and a half overs to go. We have five men on the leg side here. They've left a cavernous gap in the covers for Dog to drive through. He's not going to need to go through that. Oh dear. Yeah, that's gone out for four. to dog he's gonna flick that down all day that's four more oh it's completely spun past it oh, and they get two how was that missed <laughs> this is the final over that was the first ball of it of uh, Wheatley's innings we somehow got on to 236 for nine Oh, 
out through the covers and they come back for two. Ooh, wow. Dog has absolutely boshed that for four and that's a really positive end to Wheatley's innings. Well, Wheatley finish on a very healthy looking 243 for nine, far 50 overs. Dog top scoring with 34 not out, marshalling the tail brilliantly. Explosive stuff from Henry. Uh, three different scores of 33 um, and also our total boosted by 38 extras including 24 wide so Wheatley have got to make sure we don't fall into the same trap in our bowling innings. Welcome to Ratford's innings. They need 244 and John O'Ellis is opening the bowling for Wheatley. Mark Bull has got Ratford underway with a single and here's the informed Greg Mann. Oh, well, it's top by Cal. Toby Smith opening up from the other end. Oh, huge appeal, and Toby gets him. just buying up perfect length early doors and to get Greg Mann out this early is a superb breakthrough for Wheatley. Oh that's really nicely played down by the new man in. I think this is Retford's overseas superstar Vishwas Saini. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly and he's from Australia. down there's no one down here that should go for four it does oh that's super bowling for Jono oh it's gone out well stopped by Eddie a point Punched past Henry at mid on, that should go out for four. It does. Well, that's punched down the ground this time, that is a really lovely shot. Toppers is after it. Oh, he's done really well there, and that'll be two. Oh, it's in the air, but there's no one there. Nice shot. Oh, the toppers is oh, that through his legs, and that's going to go for four. Maiden. Oh, wow. Toby's been sent back over his head for a one bounce four. It's a good reply from Toby. He's got to keep it full here. That's a nice drive. Should go out with this outfield for four. It does. That is a ripper from John O. Uh, it's gone where about a third slip would have been uh, for one. That's thrashed through the offside, past Bushy at point. That'll go for four. Oh, that's a wild one. Oh, that's a brilliant stop from Bushy and the umpire. Um, and it keeps it to one. Oh, that is a brilliant catch from Tom at first slip, and he gets rid of Mark Bull. Oh Bryce in at four for Retford. He's not facing Jordan Nars this time, so he survived his first ball. Well done, Bryce. <laughs> That's well bowled by Toby, equally well played. This is a dicey run, they make it. Swatted away by Brycey, that will go for four. Oh, hey. Rafford are 49 for two, and we've had 13 overs. 
Toronto be having a breather. Cal Rutherford coming on. Pulled past mid wicket. That's going to go for four. Oh, that's a wild ball by Cal. Streaky run. The jolly agricultural contractor, Cal Harrison. Yeah, it doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Yeah. Uh, he's coming on for Jono at this uh, end here. Oh. Oh, that's gone sailing up. And it goes down. You're not allowed two blinders in a game, Tom, I'm afraid. Sorry. Oh, he's gone back and he's gone. Bat hitting ground. Would have been nice though. <laughs> oh, and that's taken at short mid wicket by Tom. Oh, how <laughs> was that missed indeed, Toppers? That's uh, gone through everything and that's gone down for buys. Oh, that's been sent up and over for a very fluent boundary. That's edged, it's coming down here and that'll be four. Oh, next ball chops on and Nathan Singleton goes. Ooh, I think his intentions have been uh, shown straight away there. That's four. That's a good take from Dog. That's not going to stop it being a wide, though. Cut away. And it's gone for four. <laughs> oh, that's gone up and over toppers. What's that gone for? Four runs. Retford are 90 for five, and we've had about 23 and a half overs. No ball, and that's been launched over the top once more. Looked like that had gone further to me. It's still gone for four. Oh, that's been clipped out really pleasantly for a huge six. Wet fine. Uh, it's beating the man at 45. That'll go for four. Oh, Bryce is raining down some serious blows on Wheatley's attack at the moment. He's moved himself onto 46. And Retford have passed the 100. They're on 107. It's been sent out. That'll go for four as well. Tommy's given up the chase out there. And that is 50 very cavalier runs from James Bryce. Well played. Oh, that's massive. That's gone over Henry's head, into the hedge. That's six. So we're at drinks at the halfway stage and Retford are putting up a fight here. 117 for five. James Bryce, 56 not out. He has launched a blistering attack and we'll see if that can continue after drinks. I wish he's gonna have a go here. Oh, that's sharp work from Dog, but they made their ground. Oh, that's gone straight up. And it's fallen in between two fielders. Oh, that's gone fine. Should run away. And it has. It's going to take Jono on. He's been sent back. <laughs> Jono doesn't throw it in the end. Oh, that's gone straight to Jono, and that's a big wicket. <laughs> well, that.
that wonderfully destructive innings from Bryce is over and now we really have to turn the screw here. Yeah. And Cal's through him and that's seven down. <laughs> oh, edge fine. Tom's got a finger on it, so Henry will field. Coming back for the second. And throws a bit wide. I think you make it. Oh, that's a drop kick. Over made a wicket for four. That's uh, well, G Bush is chasing it down, but this outfield will take that for four. <laughs> Not quite done. Tongi coming on here. Floaty one to start with. Oh, that's in the air. Bushy takes it at point. Shot, boy! Hello. <laughs> oh, what a fantastic shot. Four runs. Well, with two wickets to get, Henry won't be getting a hat trick this week, but he's agreed to bowl nonetheless. Flicked away, that should go for four, it does. It's launched out, that's going for six. Oh, and he's put it down. Oh, that's been launched up. And he's put another one down, oh dear. And there's chaos out in the middle as well. <laughs> That's edged, is it? Yes, it is. And Wheatley have their ninth. Oh, that's been pushed out very pleasantly indeed for four. Toby coming back on. Good start. That's gone very, very high up in the air. And it's been taken and Wheatley win. Well, that's four in a row for Wheatley. They played brilliantly in patches today. Uh, it wasn't the highest quality of cricket all day, it has to be said. But very, very entertaining and enjoyable. Retford had their moments too, unlucky to them. Um, but Wheatley have uh, come away with a very comfy victory. And this march on up the Bassett Law Championship continues. It really is an open league this year. Very exciting. And we'll have the next instalment next week. Hopefully we'll see you there. All best.